News 19 is continuing to safely monitor road conditions today. Since I was out this morning, conditions have improved and Huntsville police officers have reopened Memorial Parkway, but officials stress that travel is still not encouraged. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us now live from Storm Hunter. Emily, where are you driving right now? Good afternoon, everybody. Well, right now we are here on 565. We are still in Huntsville. We're going westbound, kind of heading towards the Madison area. Now I can tell you that conditions have improved quite a bit out here. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera to show you what we can see out the front windshield. Now, as you can see, the first time in a couple of days, we're able to actually see some pavement, although there are still chunks of ice off to the side and kind of in between some of the lanes and any water on the road could pose a threat later if it does freeze back into ice. Now this morning, ramps and bridges were a big concern across the city because of that ice that had formed overnight. But thanks to work from Aldon and just the number of cars that have been out here on the roads earlier today, some of those icy spots do seem to be looking a little bit better now. Again, we are on some of the main roads that are looking a little bit better, but those side streets, neighborhoods, and even sidewalks all still have a lot of ice and slush. All of that can pose a real threat if you're driving or even if you're just walking, you still need to be very cautious. Now, I just got off that Zoom call that you mentioned, Kayla, with those Huntsville City officials, and they say to continue to stay home if you can. The Public Works Director says they have 10 plows out right now and five road graders working to remove ice from roads. We also just saw another Alzot car on the on 565. Now Public Works Director says they have made great progress, but that secondary streets could still take some time to get to. They urge everybody to just be patient as they work to get to those roads. The emergency Management Director says this event is far from over, especially with more cold temperatures coming in tonight. Now, I'll be out here all afternoon tracking these road conditions and bringing you more information on what those city officials had to say. I'll have another live report coming up for you tonight on News 19 at 4. But for now, live in Huntsville, Emily Moser, News 19.